Welcome to the Picker Flipper channel. Hey, I just uh, want to tell you a little bit about what I do. I'm a part-time picker. I go out to rummage sales, thrift stores, garage sales, yard sales, um, retail stores for a little retail arbitrage. I buy items at a low price and turn around and resell it uh, for a profit. Um, just wanted to cover a few things with you today, show you some things that sold and uh, give you a little uh, rundown on what's going on. Okay, I wanted to show you guys a few things I sold over the weekend here, mostly on Sunday here. Um, sold this Xbox Lite. Um, it's just kind of one of those, um, I don't know, decorative lights for a man cave gaming room. Sold that for $22 plus shipping. Um, if I remember right, I want to say I paid maybe 10 bucks for that. Um, I believe I picked that up at Kohl's. Or, I'm sorry, TJ Maxx, not Kohl's, um, for $10. Sold this Victoria's Secret pink um, leggings. Um, those right there I sold for... $14.99 plus shipping. I got those for free from a friend. Um, I got this Levi Strauss uh, shaving kit. I had this a little while and I took an offer of $9.99. Um, I paid uh, $4.99 for it. So it didn't make a whole lot of money on that. That was a retail arbitrage item as well. You know, your retail arbitrage items don't usually make the profits of some of the other stuff that you find. It just all depends, you know, what you're looking for. Um, I got this stackable backpack cooking set. It's a pan within a pan. It's lightweight. You can put it in your backpack when you go camping so you can make some uh, hot food if you're camping out. Um, that item there sold for, um, gosh, what did it sell for now? Oh, yeah, it sold for uh, $21.59. And I actually I picked that up at a... Uh, rummage sale i think that was only a couple bucks so it's a really nice profit on that this newer box right here that is a tripod base for some commercial camera equipment i sold that for 29 dollars plus shipping um i bought that at the bin store and i paid ten dollars um for that so there's some nice profit on that one turn ten dollars into 29 um we'll take that i've got this uh TV antenna with coaxial cable on it. Um, that item right there sold for $9.99, and I picked that up for a dollar. Actually, it's part of an auction item in a box. Um, I probably paid less than a dollar for it. So not too bad for what sold this last uh, weekend here, mainly most of them were on Sunday. I have another pair of leggings that I sold that the buyer hasn't paid, but uh, I'm not going to film that until I get paid. So... Uh, just because people sometimes back out. So that's what we got going on today. Going to get these all packed up and shipped out. All these are going out by uh, United States Postal Service, and I try to use their boxes when I can. Um, there's quite a few first-class items here, so some of these will go in um, just a plastic bag, uh, especially like the clothing, um, probably that shaving kit as well. So... kind of like doing these videos from my couch it's it's comfy and cozy and especially on a rainy day here in north iowa but hey the next couple things i want to show you and talk about one is a couple items to look for at auctions and uh you know we can buy multiple quantities of things at a low price uh it really can help you so why don't you check these items out okay guys wanted to show you something i picked up at an auction here now this was an online auction and there's a box of filters here um 
for many different units. Um, there's a total of 10 filters here. And I just kind of want to show you what I paid for it here. See that bottom one, numerous humidifier filters? Four dollars. So I got 10 items here that I paid four bucks for. Now I haven't checked the retail on most of these, but I'm willing to bet most of these are going for, these bigger ones are probably going for 10 plus, these little ones anywhere from five to 10. Um, you know, I'm willing to bet there's about $80, $75 worth of filters here that I paid four bucks for that will sell on, uh, you know, eBay or other platforms. Granted, it's not really humidifier season. These may go more in the fall, but you know, you can't beat it. And people are always looking for this, especially if they have an older unit. Um, they're not always easy to find. Usually they go online to look for these. So be on the lookout for these type of things when you're out there at hitting rummage sales, auctions, whatever have you. Be looking for these filters because they always do really well and I seem to sell through them. So just wanted to share that with you. Hey guys, just wanted to show you another um, auction find. I got five ashtrays here. Um, this one's got four queens on it. This is just a plain plastic one. Uh, this is Normandy Club, um, the Golden Rule Club. There's two of those. I gotta assume that's from a casino. I'll have to do a little research, but I see there's some, looks like heart, spade, clubs, diamonds on there. So I'm assuming it's from a casino. Uh, I got this 75th anniversary ashtray as well. You know, normally I wouldn't recommend picking up ashtrays, but there's people that collect them. Um, but uh, I, I'll, let me show you why I picked them up. Um, I bought this at an online auction, and uh, I thought it was a pretty nice find, but I was just going to show you here real quick. Uh, five ashtrays. Yep, that's right. One dollar, guys. I got all these for one dollar. Um, you know, if I sell one of these for a few bucks, I've made my money back and then some. Um, I would like to think that I could sell these two and the four queens one. Eh, not so much. Not sure on this one, but we'll give it a try. I just wanted to kind of show you those to you. Uh, keep an eye out for those things because you will make some money on those. Uh, kind of like I said earlier with the filters as well. You know, after I got to listing, it's like uh, there's probably over $100 profit on the filters. So uh, for a $4 buy that I showed you earlier. So, you know, keep your eye open for these good deals because they're out there. Hey, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about my situation. Uh, basically, I have been a part-time reseller and uh, going to continue to be a part-time reseller. Um, so along the end of October, I had lost my job due to vaccine mandates. And basically... May of last year, I've been doing part-time reselling, um, and I will continue to do that. Uh, once I, I kind of lost my job, I was hoping that I could build this up and go full-time uh, by the time my unemployment ran out, but uh, that's just not the case. So right now, I am going to take a, a job with um, as a hotel general manager uh, by me, and that'll be my full-time gig, but I will continue to do reselling. I'm not sure how many videos I'll be putting out going forward. I'll keep working on it and showing you guys a few things um, that I pick up and sell. But right now it's going to be on the back burner for a while as I, you know, learn my new role and rule, new position. But uh, I'm still excited about the reselling and all that goes on. Um, I do know it takes a lot of work to try to get it to full time. Um, so, but I don't want to discourage you if that's what your goals and dreams are because eventually i'd love to do this full-time if at all possible um but i also just enjoy it as a hobby too so you know not everybody's gonna be able to do this full-time um and that's okay it's okay to have a fallback a part-time job with this as this is a hobby i really enjoy it and you know i'm, I'm still 15 years away from retiring but uh I think this would be a great uh, side gig when I retire too, uh, to do reselling part time. So um, don't be discouraged if you aren't uh, making it full time yet. Continue to plug away and work hard and good things will happen for you. For the time being, I'm going to continue to be part time and just do it when I can and enjoy the hobby as I go and continue to learn and pick up neat stuff. Um, I think it's important to... Uh, 
to pick, you know, if you see things for yourself, pick it up. If you can afford it, why not? Um, that's what, that's what it's all about. But, uh, Hey, I just want to thank you all for your support and, uh, appreciate it. Um, I know I don't have a whole lot of followers and I'm okay with that. Um, you know, but for those of you that have, I, I really appreciate it. And, uh, I want to thank you. And, uh, like I said, I, this probably won't be my last video by any means, but I'll, I'll put some more out when, when the time is appropriate, but, uh, thanks again for following along. I appreciate it. Uh, if you could give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, that would be great. Um, once again, thanks for everything and good luck to you going forward as well. Hey, have a great day, my friends. God bless.